the game. Well, this is this is going to be some fun. They've done this once or twice before here and there. They won with it against Cloud. Scouted out by FNG on the high ground. Illidan. It's a silence before here. the leech seed, but one right click from Puppy and a couple more from S4. That's going to be a deny! Oh, oh, oh. Skyrath Mage! Nicely played Denies by FNG. Deep, what are you doing? He gets revealed. Sedoi hits him with the Berserker's Call. All right, he'll be okay. Now, looks like he's just baiting for S4, perhaps. Now a leech seed onto Sedoi. They blow him up with that Sonic Wave. Puppy will die for this, but S4 might be able to find a double. FNG gets behind the tower. Yule's about complete. You have to come back to help defend pretty soon here, though. He does have the remote mines. I just swear, if, yeah, Visage already with the gem pick up. Like, oh, Illidan, he has not got the Aegis Beast, still kept alive for now. There's an Axe Blink hole in the second. He's just waiting to lose the damage off him. He goes in, catches that TV. Down goes your Storm. The Overgrowth comes too late. S4's Blink forward. He's already thrown the Sonic Wave, though, and now he doesn't actually finish off Illidan. Illidan's juking around the trees, needs another scream, will catch him. One for one trade, and S4 blinks forward, looking for a second one. Looks like he will be able to bring down Lil. The Familiar's not offering enough support. G, as well as Sedoi. The landmine's actually doing a lot of work wow. here. Did a fair bit of damage. They bring down the Aegis. Now they might kill him once more. Landmine's now getting cleared out. The gem on the Visage doing a lot of work already. Picked up nice and early by FNG, similar to what we saw last game. Uh, secret, though. They lose some landmines, and they won't take that. It will not stand. Sonic Wave just hits on FNG, but now RTV comes zipping in. Bloodstone not quite completed yet. Finger brings down the Drill Ranger. Instant buyback from Illidan. He's already lost his Skyrath Mage and the rest of his team in a lot of trouble. Lil taking some damage, but RTZ gets slam dunk. Visage still falls to S4. Now he'll just try to move around the trees, make some space for himself. He will have a Scream. The Living Armor keeping him alive and rather healthy. G getting low on HP, but it's Zai who may be forced into a suicide. Yules now does have have enough mana for the suicide. Easy dunk for the axe and a double kill for Sedoi. A very chaotic fight, but not having that uh, true late game carry. The Queen of Pain and the Storm, both kind of intel based carries that can both go great into the late game, but the rest of the lineup offers very little. The big problem for Aces Polar, though, is hearing Roche without a gem. We'll hold that thought, though, as Kuro walks into the wrong place at the wrong time. Gets initiated on, but Living Armor gives him a little bit of a buffer. At least enough time for the uh, cores to get there. Arteezy and S4 doing as much damage as they can. They bring down the Skywrath, but it'll cost S4 his life. Not sure what happened to the gem, but now Arteezy and Zai will go down. A one for four, and Puppy will be on the run. Pretty sure that gem has been recovered. By He'll be in a good spot, but Secret will have respawned just in the nick of time to make a move towards Roche, and of course, they don't have the vision. That's the big problem here. You look at Radiant Vision, they've got a ward on the high ground here, so they'll see some heroes lingering around. They see Ilden making a movement that way. They'll be pinged out. There's your Radiant's BKB on the Troll Warlord, though. A huge item pick up, and Radiant's uh -oh. Courier just suicides into a double damage Joe Ranger. Not sure what that was all about. Yeah, it's a uh, Miss Micro. Uh, it's, it was even in that area. Yeah. It had actually, it was maybe trying to recover the. Did it drop the gem? It had 900. I'm thinking that was the gem that it dropped. Oh, yes, it did. It just fed them back the gem. I think it was just trying to, like, send across the map to try to recover a gem, and then. There isn't attackies in the game. Aggressive with his tower is under enemy jungle, but he's been spotted out by a dire ward, so they kind of know that what he's up to. It looked like he was trying to go for a curious knight. Go, Skyrath with a silence. S4, silence up. There's a blink call following up this silence, and. Do they have the damage for this? You betcha! Catch him out. Radiant's Meanwhile, in the top lane, that's a tier 2 tower down. Drill Vision Visage will strike again. That baby falls. Tier 2 in the bottom lane. Arteezy wants to finish Dyer's it off. He'll get it. Lingers around a bit too long, though. Berserker's call is there. Can they get him into the threshold? Oh yeah, baby. It's Radiant's another one. Two cores on Secret attack. dead. And meanwhile, in the top lane, Drill Visage still going at it. TP back from the Lion. Nice blink from Kuro to catch him off guard. Zai coming in as well, but now the familiars start going to work. He will Yules himself, but Zai still in a lot of trouble getting stunned up. Manages to get off the suicide. No additional Radiant's damage done. And now this attack. tier 3 tower will be under assault. Living armor. Free up the courier and get it out. So it doesn't look like he'll have it for this push here. Even without this, there's a lot of pushing potential. Mine, the only one down, does some damage to the creep wave. Now the living armor gets chewed through and they go to work on this tower. Nice stun on three from the lion, but at what cost? Berserker's call be off the mark, but the dunk is not. 
And that's a dead lion. It's starting to feel like Aces Polar might be able to take game number two here. Make the opening to this series a little more interesting. In the bottom lane, there is a bit of split push happening from S4. Uh, his pushing prowess certainly limited relative to the five man here of Aces Polar. Yeah. Battle Transit, the Culling Blade, lots of attack speed. They're going to go in with the overgrowth here, but this is just trying to delay things for the push bottom lane. They lose Tree and Protector, and they can just swing top. They can just go for the double racks here. They don't even really need to TP anyone back bottom just yet. They can maybe TP one here. It's but... not like S4 is really pushing that yeah. Yeah, he's Unreal. got this tower down to about half hero look really close to this techies uh, doesn't actually pop it Zai just mining up these little access points almost hoping that they walk this way puppies look pretty dead and yeah, they want to cut down this tree he's on the run berserkers call and yeah living armor not gonna save you from that Bowler now with backdoor protection broken, just move right into the Radiant base. They get a ward down, and now this tier 3 tower up top will be under assault. See the tech is to the north, but he's just kind of trapped off, blocked off from his own base. Here we go, Arteezy, BKBs, he just zips around in the fight. Puppy buys back, tries to come in for the overgrowth, but can't even get it. Instantly disabled and decapitated. Now Zai gets brought down. Kuroki's also died, it's just the cores left alive, but Arteezy out of mana, out of life, that's it, the GG's called, a quick game two, goes the way of Aces Polar, happy, uh, I was gonna say happy 4th of July, happy April Fool's Day from Team Secret, a game two techies and a best of five finals, did not work out. I guess the good news is it's a best of five, well it's now yes. become a best of three, it's... Clean That's slate it. now. Yep, clean slate, next team to take two wins will be moving on to the summit. It's just land finals from here. So very exciting. A fun game. Uh, unfortunate for Secret.